Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. The wind and the cold have been the big story once again today, but at least we saw some sunshine, not too much snow, some flurries and snow showers out there, especially in the wee hours of our Saturday, but now all that energy is starting to work away from us. But Gus today still got up beyond 30 miles per hour, even 40 in the capital city with sustained wind, likely between 20 and 25. Gus though, Carlisle, Lebanon, York, and Lancaster, all between 30 and 35 miles per hour. So that could still lead to some blowing and drifting snow through the overnight. Want to watch out on some of those country roads for some slick conditions. I've seen it even on some of the on and off ramps here around the city this evening. The big story still, wind chills close to zero through tonight as well. That's why we've kept the impact period going. Here's our live look in Lebanon, still seeing the cloud cover overhead. Still a little bit of lingering upstairs energy, but as that starts to work away from us, high pressure at the surface will build in and we are expecting a general decrease in the cloud cover for the remainder of our weekend. S satellite, <clears throat> excuse me, still showing some of those clouds out there, but overall the Storm Team Live Radar Network not pinpointing too much at this hour after such a wintry last couple days filled with uh, snow. We can still see some snow showers off to our uh, north across some of New York, but for the most part, the Commonwealth not seeing too much at this hour. Now through the overnight, we're going to have temperatures falling back into the middle and upper teens. Wind chills though, when you factor in the breeze from the northwest will likely be around minus two to 10 degrees. It's not going to feel good really at all. Five to 10 with the wind chills for tomorrow morning and then for the afternoon, low to mid 30s with a bit more sunshine as high pressure continues to build in with those uh, feels like temps in the teens and 20s. With that high pressure, the wind will finally start to diminish late. Now we did hit 24 degrees today cold well below where we should be for this time of the year and with some of those snow showers officially picked up four tenths of an inch of new snow at the airport since midnight but most of us didn't see too much activity in that regard as that system continued to pull away we're at 21 now in sealands grove 24 in carlisle sitting in the 20s as well in the red rose city it is 19 right now in gettysburg but it feels more like six in lewistown and seven in Gettysburg and that feeling going to get a bit worse as we progress through tonight because of that wind still biting from the northwest. So the worst of it really as we head into the morning tomorrow and then we start to improve. We're back into the teens and 20s late and that trend continues as the warmer air starts to build in for Monday and Tuesday as we get more of a return flow from the southwest. And if you are planning on getting out to the suburban Pennsylvania home show, that's in downtown Lancaster at the convention center from 10 a.m. to 5. Temperatures going to be right around freezing by 3 with wind chills still stuck in the teens and 20s with up to around 28 degrees by 6 o'clock. Here's predictor as we time things out through the remainder of the night. We can see the clouds hanging on. I think this decreases the clouds just a little too quick, though. Still expecting a ton of sunshine tomorrow, but I think we'll have to wait till the afternoon to see a bit more of that. I think we'll see more clouds earlier in the day, but lunchtime through the afternoon looking pretty good. Just cold, but we're going to start to warm things up as we progress through our Monday as that wind flow starts to change. Seeing those areas more from the uh, southwest will start to boost our temperatures. We're back into the upper 30s on Monday for the News 8 Storm Team forecast here. Tuesday 40s and look what's next 50s, but we trade the snow for some rain as a rather unsettled trend develops here across the valley. A disturbance moves in Tuesday, watching out for a stray shower too, but chances for rain higher Wednesday into Friday. And then the final system of the week could bring us some rain there on a Saturday, Regina. But behind it, we are back into the 40s. It looks